All right, well, my next guest is also someone who likes to keep things fresh. Chef Javier Rosa is the executive chef at T-Mobile Park. And when it comes to uh, him visiting New Day, well, we always feel like we've hit a home run. Welcome back to the show, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having me here one more time. I love having you here. The food is always great, and your energy is always so positive. But before we get to this, I have to ask, how are my food storage techniques? from a professional. They are, they are pretty clear. I believe that I heard about that before. In the kitchen, you know, we do that as well. But yeah. in the kitchen, because we go to the product so fast, sometimes yeah. we don't even have time to do that. Yeah. We receive the product, we prepare it, and we put it out. But I mean, yes, I heard about that a lot. I mean, definitely the herbs, I mean, the cilantro, the basil, mm -hmm. you wrap them in a paper, a little okay. bit of uh, water, and you in a paper. They hold better. And then, you know, some people put the tomatoes and bananas in the, in the fridge. Yeah. That's kind of like a big mistake for us. I believe that tomatoes and bananas should leave it outside. Yes. And then in the room temp, and they hold better. I mean, they, yes. the bananas doesn't turn black so quick, yeah. and the tomato doesn't take soft. I mean, avocados, tomatoes, and bananas, for me, yeah. so you should leave it out of the cooler. Okay, that's really, really, really Just important. Just to give you an example and uh, <laughs> one, more, one more tip for today. I love it. All I right. Know. So what are we making here today with you? Well, you know, we're celebrating Heritage Month, and as you know, Latin Heritage Month includes many countries. Mm -hmm. um, you know, me as a chef, I would like to always go to different countries and do a culinary experience. Yeah. What I mean by that, instead of going to the beach or a touristic area, I do a culinary expose in a way I can go to different restaurants, the market, the plazas, in a way I can and learn about Peruvian food. I've been in Peru doing that, in Mexico, in Argentina, Paraguay, mm -hmm. Europe as well, Thailand. And for me, it's good as a chef to go to these countries and learn from the root and from exactly from the, from the people that really do the food inside the houses, how to do the food right. Yeah. And that for me, I would like to bring something today that we can do together. And they can do it at the house as well today. And that is what I love too, because it, and you went to Peru, we're going to make that. But I remember at, when I went to Argentina, that was the first time I'd ever had chimichurri sauce. And exactly. That, and now I would take a bath in it. If and, I could. and once, once you have a Argentina chimichurri, it's not the same when you come here and somebody yeah, told you chimichurri. <laughs> yeah, when true. they blend it and they do the emulsion, that's not chimichurri. It's about fresh parsley, oh, fresh onion, so good. nice olive oil and vinegar and lemon oh. juice, and that's the real Ooh. chimichurri. But today we're gonna do some causa. Okay. And it's a Peruvian causa, okay. and uh, that's what it's all about. For the people to know, it's just taking some yukon potatoes or you know um, yellow potatoes. Okay. Go to the supermarket, you find the pretty easy. Okay. And to just to get the process going, we get those potatoes and we're gonna boil them. Okay. Okay. We're so gonna you peel them, boil we them. Peel them, cut them, boil them like okay. a regular potato, and then you can put some of salt and pepper, of course. And then the ingredient of this recipe that really make it different mm -hmm. is the ají amarillo. Uh, the it's, it's yellow Marino. pepper, yellow pepper mm -hmm. paste. It's kind of spicy, not too much. It's a flavorful, spicy flavor. So where can, I'm going to hold that up so everyone mm -hmm. can see the label. But where do you get this? Definitely, you can find this in any Latin market. Okay. And um, if you have any issues, Amazon definitely you Google yellow pepper paste or Peruvian ají amarillo paste. Mm -hmm. You're going to find that in Amazon. You order it and you can get it. And you can do. Not just this dish in Peru, they use it for uh, ají de gallina, they yeah. use it for lomo saltado. I mean, we can do a lot of dishes today, but I decided to do something that everybody at home can do the first time, and okay. they can do an event this Christmas, and they can invite the people, and everybody have fun, okay? I love it. Okay, so now we've got the potatoes there. We've got the potatoes already. Them. we got boiled already. We're already having some. They are soft already, ready to match. I mean, yep. we're going to match it, and that's what we're going to get. Ooh, we got the mashed potatoes ready to go. That means that's a process that we... Uh, Get it going, and yep. then we can finish the product today. Okay. And definitely, we need two ingredients. All right. We got the mashed potatoes ready, yep. mashed, ready to go. We have the ají amarillo, so lemon juice. Okay. I don't know. You want to use gloves? You don't have to use no, gloves because that is here. that I is my hands. that is for you. That means we're gonna do. We're gonna okay. use the spatula here. Yes, sir. We're gonna start adding ají amarillo to this. Okay. Okay. You're gonna start mixing it together. Okay. And we're gonna add some lime juice. We got okay. some lime juice. So we're gonna add that to the potatoes. So we're gonna just go. Nicely flavored. That lime juice is going to give you that nice acidity to the potatoes. Mm -hmm. The ají amarillo will give you the flavor and the spiciness that we need. We're going to use some salt and pepper for Ooh, this. I like that you mix. Do you do that just for our show, or do you have mixed salt and pepper all the time? I have salt. Sometimes I have a mix already, and sometimes they have the salt only and the pepper only because okay. we don't want all the people to go or too much salt or too much pepper in gotcha. the food. Gotcha. I see. Every food is different. Everybody has a different taste. Okay. Yes. But uh, for this recipe, we have together because we mm -hmm. need salt and pepper together. As you see, you're going to mix it up okay. it together. You want to emulsify all together. Once you have all this mixed up, that's the final product you're going to get. Ooh, that tastes As you so see, good. you see the color, a nice yellow Ooh. color coming out. Yeah. And you have the acidity right now, and you have the color. Okay. Now, for the calcite, you're going to use this. 
And then today, because we're in the Northwest, mm -hmm. I want to use crab. Okay. I love crab. Perfect. Perfect crab salad, a little lemon, a little tarragon, a little mayonnaise, a little Old Bay. Just mix all together mm -hmm. and we have the potato, we have this, and we have a little bit of avocado crema. Ooh, which is avocado, sour cream, cilantro, salt, pepper, a little lemon juice as well. You make okay? it sound so easy when you talk about it is, it is. It is just, <laughs> it, but it, it's really easy. It's just, sour, I'm telling you, sour cream, avocado, cilantro, you adjust the flavors. And if, it, if you want a green color, you add more cilantro. If okay. it's not, you can keep oh, it Oh, if instead. you want a more of a green color, you add cilantro. Add more That's cilantro. a good tip. That's the tip right there I for you today. That. Okay. okay. That means that we have all this together, and I have for you this today to start working with this for me. All right. And we're going to build one. What we want to do is we want to just put a little put bit of the potato. Okay. Right on top here. I'm all right. Give I didn't you, fully mix it, but. Let's use the one that's already done. Okay. Oh, yeah. That that's one right. was your demo product. Let's okay. use the one that's already done. All right. So you just put it. A in little here. bit in the. You see the just middle right here? Okay. Just in the bottom. Just the middle. These cows are, like I said, you're going to see some places that do like a two layers, they do like a three layers. This one we're going to do really simple one layer. Okay. I believe that you How got doing? plenty of potato. That's fine. Okay. That's okay. what you need. Okay. No. Keep oh, it there. Keep it there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to put the plastic now. Okay. And with this, we're going to form it to make sure that you got an even shape. Oh, so it looks all pretty. Exactly. You want to make sure that everything looks steady and everything is pretty. You do this for every plate that, that orders this. Uh, uh, you know, here we, we are perfection. We are so extra life in, in, the, in the stadium and we do everything perfect there. You know what you I mean? You really do. The, the, the level of, of personalization and care that you have at T-Mobile Park, it's just so incredible to see and that we get to see it here live on our show definitely now what you can do you're going to take the rim out Mm -hmm. Take the ring completely out. Now you can see it's more perfect. Okay, yeah. And do you spray the ring, by the way, with some Yeah, oil? absolutely. Okay. Oh, my God. You're an expert right now. You, <laughs> have, you, put, a, you put a little bit of uh, nonstick spray just to make sure that everything comes out easy. Okay. Now you're going to put a little bit of crab on this, okay. you know what I mean? Depending how much crab you want. I'm going to look Is that you want to do? Okay. I mean, you put as much crab as you want. If you like a lot of crab. Like I said, one more time, you can use crab, you can use tuna, you can use turkey. I mean, you can use chicken. Whatever you feel that is uh, your... your taste it you okay. can use it all right once you have this you can put some avocado on this this is such a great meal that's so delicious it's so pretty and it's, it's easy it's, it's not fancy weird ingredients no nope, although i have to ask you because we are about out of time what are these little red things absolutely those are sweetie three drops those are sweet and a little bit of spicy at the same time i want you to try one okay just try one all right all right and you can just Bite on it, and you can have mm. some sweetness coming mm. out first. What are those called again? Those are sweetie drops. You're gonna find that mm. any any store they got, they have a sweetie drops, and then you got a little bit of All radishes, right. and you have a little bit of garnishes. I love the garnishes; are beautiful. I'm just jumping right in here because I have to try this. Mm. Oh my gosh! Your garnish, gosh. and you have the causa. That's so beautiful. This is so, so good. It's a whole nice combination of flavor. Like I say, you have the nice crema, you have the lime, yeah. you have the ahi amarillo spicy, plus the crab, you know, bring a little bit of sweetness as well to the dish. All together is just amazing. The Mariners are so lucky to have you. <laughs> no wonder they I'm, play so well. I'm lucky to be working for Aww. them as well. Absolutely.